This is to demonstrate how to crochet the Jacob's Ladder dishcloth that you can find on my website. The pattern is available for free. Just visit crochetandcrafts.com to find this pattern and many other free crochet patterns as well. I will try and post a link directly below this pattern, uh, this video that will take you directly to the pattern. Um, I'm using um, Burnett Handicrafter cotton yarn and a size H or a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Um, not sure if you can see or not. So to get started you just want to chain 29. I'm just going to make my slip knot. And I'm just going to chain 29. Okay, so then you want to um, double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So you just count over one, two, three, and you want to work one double crochet into that chain right there. And then you work another four double crochets into the next four chains. So one double crochet into each of the next four chains. Okay, so you have five double crochets and then you want to chain six. Okay, and then you want to skip the next six chains on your um, chain row here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you want to double crochet into the next five chains. So you go over one more and then double crochet into the next five. Okay, so you should have six chains on the top and six chains on the bottom. And then you want to do it again, you want to chain another six. Okay, and then you want to skip the next six chains again. And then you want to double crochet into the last five chains. Okay, so that's your first row. Um, it looks a little wide, but we're going to pull up these these uh, Jacob Ladder loops once we are finished with the dishcloth. Um, so for your second row, you just want to turn and then you chain two. And then you double crochet into the first five stitches. So your first stitch is right there. Just repeat the pattern. You want to chain six, okay, and then you want to skip the loop and then double crochet into the next five stitches. 
So you just skip all these chains and then double crochet into the next five. Okay, and you chain six. And then skip the loops or the chains and double crochet into the last five. And then you just keep going with this row um, until you have reached reached the desired length. So I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to come back and I'll show you how to do the ending of it. Okay, so now I have um, finished my nine rows and I fastened off my work and so now I'm going to pull up the Jacob's Ladders loops and to do the loops you just want to take a hook um, that's slightly bigger. I'm using a nine millimeter, but you can use any hook that you like. And I'm just gonna go underneath the first two loops and I'm gonna take the second loop and pull it underneath the first one. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Under go underneath the third one and pull it through the second one. And you just keep doing that all the way to the top. Okay, and then you just pull it down to even it out. And you can put a stitch marker into this loop to keep it from uh, becoming undone. And I'm just going to use a big um, knitting stitch marker here. And then you do the same thing on the other side.